Hey Shuby Doodlers, how are you doing? Well, today I'm going to show you how to construct the flower of life. Using very simple geometry, we can create a beautiful flower and a pattern that you can use to create all sorts of different other flower forms. But let's not talk about it, let's do it. You'll need a pen, a pencil, an eraser, and a compass. So let's start right in the middle. Let's start about there and we'll stick the pin of the compass into the middle and then choose a radius. And with that radius, we will then spin all the way around and create a circle. So that's the circumference on the outside. If you want to know all about pi and that sort of stuff, click up here and see my video about how pi was discovered. You'll be amazed. Now, keeping that radius, don't move this at all. This is the secret. This is the sort of the magic part of it. Um, put your pin right in up at the top there. And then we can draw a curve like that, which crosses over. And then we need to put the pin in exactly that point where it crosses over. And then that will cross over where you were before. We'll put the pin in the exact spot where that crosses over. It goes through the center and it goes through the point you've just been at. Do the same thing through the center and through the point you've just been at through the center and at the point you've just been at. And then we just need one more like that to connect it all up. Now this is a very simple geometric shape. We need to make it more flower-like. So here we're gonna draw kind of a line down the middle like that. And then it wants to come out on that line and curve into there with a kind of an S shape. So you can draw a bit of a line out just to get you started to get that S shape. And then we're gonna go all the way around. And then we're gonna go and do it on the other side. So we've got coming out and then into an S. That's a bit harsh that one, isn't it? Out and into a sort of an S shape. Now I'm gonna get my compass again, put that right back in the middle. And I'm gonna draw a circle. Now don't press hard on any of this or else you're going to find it really hard. We're going to erase these pencil lines in a while. Um, so draw a, a circle round about like that and then another one in a little bit. Something like that. And we want to draw, just sort of mark out the sort of center point like that. And now we're going to draw in ink. So, so we're going to follow that new curve line that we did from the very center all the way out and down like that. Use your wrist as like the center point of the compass and that will help you get a smoother curve. If you find any of this confusing or difficult to follow, don't forget you can stop and start and replay at any time. Press the space bar or tap the screen to stop. And then we want to go back the other way, but do it on this side so that we can still use this sort of pivot of the wrist. If you're still watching, you obviously love drawing. So why don't you come down here and click the subscribe button and make sure that you are subscribed to the Shoe Rain and Drawing channel and come back for lots more drawings every week. I show you how to draw all sorts of things. And by drawing all those things, you slowly learn how to draw anything. Now we want to make these look sort of more like petals, which are kind of, you know, they fold in into the center here. So we're going to come out like that. It's another kind of S shape. Another kind of S shape like that. All the way around. And then we want to flick a line straight out down the middle. And by flicking it, you get a nice sort of pointy it sort of thins, the line gets thinner at the end, like that. And now we're going to draw the stamens and the anthers and that kind of stuff. So here, draw, it's a kind of an oval, isn't it? And that will give a little bit of shade to it as well. And draw this right over the center of the circle that you drew around there. And then here we're going to draw lines coming out to it. So these are the stamens, aren't they? And the little bits at the end of the anthers, I think. <laughs> it's been a long time since I did biology. And then we're going to do the same in these little spaces here. So we're going to draw 
them right over the circles. So we've got this circle so that we know we're going to get them all in the same um, sort of position on each section. And then we're going to draw the lines in. And it doesn't matter if it doesn't quite get into the middle there. You can just kind of flick that in. The eye is not going to see it, and if you draw too much, it all starts to get a little bit messy. Oh, going off <laughs> at an angle. Then, when you are absolutely sure that the ink has dried, you can erase all those pencil construction lines. And when you show it to your friends and family, they will be amazed. This, how did you do that? That's incredible. Many flowers have six petals, like clematis, lilies, daffodils, uh, snowdrops. So you can adapt this pattern if you like. Choose a basic color to fill the petals and then with a darker color, shade in the center and the tips of the petals and the anthers. And there you go, how to draw the flower of life. Thanks for watching and keep coming back to the Shoe Rainer Drawing Channel for lots more drawings every week, Mondays and Fridays, four o'clock UK time. And in the meantime, keep drawing, 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 practice, practice, practice. And I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye bye.